<clears throat> and you've got four different command card things here. Um, so, like here, you have the train marine button, which is the ability, um, <clears throat> has a train marine button. It's also got the select builder button. That's for while it's building. Um, that's like it's in the same slot as the train marine button. That's why it shows up down there. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, you have, um, it's in, it's an ability command. It, um, uses the barracks train ability and the ability command for that ability is train marine. Um, so you could change it if you wanted to, to train marauder, but you would, uh, well, let, let's just not, <laughs> let's not worry about that. Um, you'd have to, uh, <clears throat> you'd have to change the button also if you wanted to, uh, <clears throat> like actually make a unit and, uh, so yeah, yeah, it's pretty complicated adding a new unit. You have to, <clears throat> you have to add the ability to the, you have to add the train command to the barracks basically and, um, to the barracks train ability, I should say. And, um, put in like the unit cost and stuff in there. And then, um, <clears throat> which is kind of weird because you could have like, say, a barracks. If you added like a tank to the barracks, you could have the tank from the barracks train for like 50 minerals and build it in two seconds without affecting how much it costs and how long it takes to build one from the factory. Um, <clears throat> well, anyways, to do that, you'd actually have to, uh, change, change, like, the requirements for the unit, so, that, that, that shit just gets complicated. So, yeah, this, this is a lot of stuff. Gotta, let me, let me try to go over this all in total. You gotta add the... Ability command to the train ability, or is there the morph ability thing? The um, the add-on stuff is morph. <coughs> morph based. I haven't really looked into seeing exactly how that works, but um. <coughs> on there and put in the uh, put in the costs and stuff if you want to do that but you also have to go over to the barracks and um, put a button for it on the command card and then you have to um, you have to create a button for your new unit as well so that it uh <coughs> tells you what the hell it does. So, um, yeah, that's how you, uh, find unit costs and, uh, put new units, like, to be built by buildings. If you go to, um, the reason why there's multiple command card things is if you go to, um, like an SCV or other workers, uh, <clears throat> it's because the other command cards are for their buildings, and um, so it's like a like a tree type of thing. So the build structure, for example, it's a they call it a sub menu, which just takes you to command card two. So. 
when you hit build structure, then it takes you to this. Um, <clears throat> and then the cancel button just cancels submenu. Um, which basically just takes you back to command chart one. <clears throat> um, so that's people are definitely going to be using that in uh, like RPG type of games um, to get more spells on the uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> on the other command cards. Um, you used to be able to do something like that with uh, in Warcraft Three. I'm trying to remember what it's called. I think it was called like a spell book, something like that. But now they just have the nice little command card things. So you could have like fire spells here, ice spells here, and uh, lightning spells here, stuff like that. Um. <clears throat> so um, yeah, that's that's basically all I wanted to talk about. Not sure. Let's see here. Yeah, this is gonna be into two di split into two videos, so I can't be like, oh, that's all for this video. It's actually all for this two videos. Um, but uh, yeah. Just thought I'd let you know that kind of stuff because it's hard to find. <clears throat>